Clips, Hip Hop Nation, rap is out of control, Torre. Yes, sir. What up, what up, what up? I mean, rap is still out of control, man. If you're tuning in, you like what you're hearing, make sure you hit us up. Hip Hop Nation, XM, you know what I mean, 60, Sirius 40, the number is 877-604-4746. For those, you know what I mean, numerically inclined, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 877-60-HIP-HOP, and that's spells Hip Hop. You no doubt. Good. Everything's cool. And if you also want to know what's going on from week to week, and follow us on uh, Twitter, at Hip Hop Nation, also on Facebook, Hip Hop Nation, and uh, you can see what's going on. Like, for example, today was Ghostface's birthday, so all day today on Hip Hop Nation, they were playing nothing but like Ghostface so joints and, like and all. Word up. And then tomorrow, um, Ghostface is actually going to be on the Perfect Ten at 8 o'clock on Hip Hop Nation, celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Supreme Clientele's release. So definitely wow. going to be some craziness going on tomorrow ago. night. Ten years. Ten years what do you know about rhyming ten years ago? Um, ten yeah. years ago, I was actually in the car playing Supreme Clientele, <laughs> driving to Great Adventure when he came out. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. No doubt, yeah. And uh, you still have the, uh, the the latest release out there is the one that you did with Marco Polo, the Double Barrel album. Double Barrel is still in the streets. Mm -hmm. but it's all about the execution right now. Marco Word Polo, Rusty Jokes. He left you for another man. <laughs> and, I'm cool, and I'm totally fine with that. No problem. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no, no, duck down. Actually, they just dropped the uh, the nobody video a few days ago. Yeah, with with a good cameo by Eclipse. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Goon approved. Goon approved. <laughs> yeah, word up. So you can check that um online if you Google that. And uh, what else you got coming up? Um, right now just doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Making shots, touch down, and, and and rock for the people that's looking for me. I'm um, working on a new project, but, you know, it's all about just touching down and giving people a live performance, letting them see some of those songs that they love so much perform live and, you know, off Double Barrel and Daily Conversation. So that's what we've been doing. Shout out to my DJ E. Holla. Hold up. Shout out to Doug Down, holding him down. No doubt. Down. Prime. What up? What up? What's the deal? Man, right now, just holding it down, trying to be worldwide, international. You know what I'm saying? Me and New York Dave, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> holding it down on the east, holding it down on the west. Right. Uh, just trying to make noise and just trying to make, you know, the, the essence of good music come back again because, you know, we, we, we started veering a little bit towards the money, but now it's mm -hmm. time to start veering back towards the love right. and then everything else to kind of fall in place. So, no doubt. you know, Dave New York puts his stamp on something, you right. know, where his... Where his energy is going with the music, sure. so it's it's mutual. And now, how did uh, you actually ha end up hooking up with uh, Bishop? Um, I've been knowing Bishop since I was a young boy. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like you just, old now. You know what I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, like, I'm old now. I mean, I mean, young like, I mean, young like, like young, young, like fifteen. Okay, you know what I'm saying, like right. real young. And it's just you know, just coming into it. You know, I was rhyming beforehand, but I was just doing it just for fun and trying mm -hmm. to stay out of trouble. But then Bishop was just really like, yo, man, you got something. And, you know, took me under his wing, showed me the ropes, the ins and the outs, and, you know, just, just kept me away from, you know, those funny those, those funny acting cats. And yeah. was like, yo, this is how you should stay in this lane. And he just kind of, you know, conditioned me because we was rhyming with um, Snoop's little brother first. So mm -hmm. we came from up under the Snoop umbrella. Okay. So we got to we got to go to school. With the old heads, no doubt. you know what I'm saying, and, and learn their game at right. the same time. It was like, yo, but they made decisions like this, but 
is they gave us a school to learn where they went. They don't mm-hmm. want us to go that route. Even corruption, sure. the same thing. He's right. like, man, we don't. He, me and him had a really engaged conversation. Like, yo, that's the problem with y'all. We don't want y'all to make the same mistakes we made, and that's what right. it's all about. And it's like, man, y'all don't see? We knuckleheads just like y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We made this. We gonna make those same mistakes, but we gonna know how to fix them a little bit earlier than right. how you guys did. So right. That's just kind of where it's at right now. So when I mean a young boy in the mind, now I so, got you. You know what I mean? We grown up now, and we really out here trying to pursue this. And it's always it it's always good to have guidance from from you know people that have always that, that have been around and done stuff before you. Like for example, Torre, before. I, I found him. <laughs> he was like lost out there, and then like I, you know, I schooled him. And I told him what to do. And... I was just blowing in the wind. You know? Yeah. Living on this, on this musty armpit wind. <laughs> <laughs> you got the little chick flying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh That's man, good. Dave. So the last time I saw you was uh, that was over like, at least ten years ago, if not yeah. more. Yeah, I that's still great. cars too. Yeah, I'll always do that because I don't want to lose right all the clients that I have. Sure, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I mean, if this shit pops off, like I know it is. Right, I really believe in him. It's just hard you nowadays know, with the music yeah. business. Even if you got something that's dope, it's just like yeah, you know, shit on you, yeah, right? you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah, of yeah. course. Like I've had folks at labels. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna mention no names. Right. I'm not gonna shit on them because <laughs> they might they my folks. <laughs> and I still got love for them. Right, but. <laughs> it's the excuses, you know what I mean? Word, it's word, like, word. You got to put this wax shit out than this? Yeah. Like, yeah. call me crazy. Yeah. You know, but I'm not stupid. I'm not deaf. I hear this wax shit. Exactly. So that's why this is on commercial radio. And this and is on. That's, all, that's yeah. the only place it gets played. Uh huh. And that, that's what poisons people's minds because it control commercial radio controls everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? See, the way I see it is this: there's a difference between an MC. And a rapper. Of course. Okay? Absolutely. And today, in today's market, we have people that are rapping just for the paper. Right. They ain't rapping from the heart. They ain't rapping. Come on, man. Rick Ross is a, was a cop, but he's talking <laughs> about flipping birds. Word. See, we don't even oh, yeah, we don't even get into that world. That, that world don't even. No, no, but I'm just saying. Like, even, we don't even think about that world. But just to get radio play, like, he had to flip his whole script. Right. Sure. And he got busted <laughs> flipping his whole script. Right, right. right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the radio, they don't care about that. So right. they'll, they'll keep playing it. Yeah, now, yeah. I got no beef for Rick Ross. Like, you know, do you. But radio is going to keep playing this right. shit. We just need more lanes, more avenues for what yeah, we do. Right, you know right. Right. More, more balance. More balance. It's like radio stations today are just, they're not giving young cats right. like Prime and you know, in death and other mm-hmm. other artists, even from here, you know what right. I mean? That that sure. so at the party last night we're handing, you know, right. yo, hit me up, man, let me get you my mixtape. You know what I mean? They're not getting no chance to shine because they're Exactly. We, we, we know, this. we know. You we, know what I mean? Rap is our control. Yeah, we're gonna control that. We're gonna we're gonna get back to the music. We'll be back more later with Torre. Prime, yeah. Yeah. Dave New York, and I go by the name of DJ Clips. What up, though? This is Merce, and honestly, no, no generic drop. DJ Clips and me have been down for a long, long time, like 10 years. Fat Beast, the whole nine, real New York, real, real rap. Real, real people doing real music and supporting it, and we're still here. Rap is out of control, but we are still here. Peace.